All right, I just wanted to get this in before I uh, actually did this. Uh, the latest Attack on Titan chapter, uh, last one's pretty decent. But before I even talked about any of that, uh, I believe it was this chapter on 122, 123, 120 something. Um, one of my, easily my most successful um, Attack on Titan, uh, 127, my most successful Attack on Titan video, my most successful video, period. Uh, and this isn't me flexing, but just 3,000 views, 76 hours, as you can see, quite a bit more than I usually get. Um, I don't know what made this video pop. Maybe it was the title, maybe it was the hashtags, I don't know. Um, but anyone who's come in because of that video, um, to subbed, still watching, yada yada, think of me as the fucker who just rambled for 17 minutes in that video. I appreciate it. Um... And I just want you guys to just continue making suggestions um, and give me ways to improve. I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter because I believe that people want shorter videos. I think it will help me with my um, retention. Uh, as you can see, very small retention for 3,000 views or so. Very small retention uh, and average view du duration. But just help me with that. And uh, yeah, we'll get right into this after the... Uh on the streets, gotta make some money. All right, so one thing that's going to remain the same, I'm going to still do the live read format. Uh, I kind of go back and forth with when to do that and when not to do that with other anime. But Attack on Titan is just so raw and visceral. Um, I've had some classic reactions and moments in this series. Um, you can go watch. I think I have 122 posted. Um, the other one with Katane Haunch. I don't remember the exact number. I believe 135. 1, 130, 129, something like that. Uh, read that live. Not necessarily like live YouTube, but just recorded it, read it, first impressions. So that's the form I like to go with with these. Hopefully you can bear with me. I try to cut them up a little bit to improve. Just keep on helping me improve. All right, so... The biggest thing that happened with this one, uh, or coming up to this one, you had the completion of the Bird Saga for Falco. If you follow the anime, I've only read the, I've only watched the first episode. But if you follow the anime, um, the winged titan, winged beast titan, is a very prevalent part of that series. Um, the intro, the outro, literally the first scene in the entire series or entire season is Falco looking at birds. So this whole winged titan aspect is something that, and Isayama like consults with whoever's making the anime. Um, this is like his trap card, basically. Whatever Isayama wants, this whole Wing Titan uh, aspect is huge for him. Gabby, man. Gabby is so emotional, bro. I think I think I really like Gabby in the anime. I just... Yeah, it's just so much hate I have for her in the manga, bro. Uh, even now, I mean, she's a good good guy. I, I just can't. She's too much to me. <laughs> Why does Annie act like she doesn't give a shit about Armin? <laughs> Trigger. Yeah, she went. She like suicided B off the stage to try to throw the um set set the uh, explosives up by his nape and expose Aaron. But Aaron wasn't messing around with it. I don't even have the resources, uh, human resources, to do that. But okay, I hate Mikasa so much, bro. I'm telling you, I said it last time. I'm gonna say it again. I've said it like at least three or four times. They've literally turned Mikasa into Sakura. The damn badass five foot fucking ten sock. I don't know how. How tall is Mika? Son? She's got to be like five eight or some shit like that, right? Five seven. Okay. She's like five seven. She's like fucking just pure fucking strength, bro. She's gonna probably fucking peg somebody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. The fuck out of here. Um, I don't know why I always have tabs put on these videos. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Mikasa is so fucking delusional. Dude, it's like all the old Titans, bro. That's so that was badass as hell. Chat, I could use Mikasa's face as a thumbnail too. I'm not going to do that. I hate Mikasa. All right, fuck it. That's a pretty good. That's a, that's a, look at the definition of that that panel. This is like the first time Mikasa has shown emotion. Like, I mean, she know. I think she's known it's supposed to happen for a while. But this is like the first time she's shown emotion in quite a few. Um, Pretty much the last time she really had to fucking kill Aaron. And it, I think it's that... I think it's in part 
that um that connection, the um the Ackerman connection that Aaron even like basically like showboated about. She basically is forced to like suck his dick. Um and she yeah, she's completely ineffective she thinks about like killing Aaron. She is absolutely useless and uh Annie saw that too. I wonder what she's getting at with that. What do you mean by that? I don't know, I don't know. I guess if she's thinking that maybe they can decapitate Aaron and like control the founding titan or something to that degree. That would be my thought process. So they still can't get them to work together. Oh man. Damn, dude. Uh, Lean Hart tried. Ugh. Alright. I don't know how important. I mean, as long as Annie doesn't see her dad dead, I think she'll be effective. I think if that happens, ugh. Can't think about what she'd do. Tamika, so you stupid bitch. Why well, specifically the Warhammer Titan? Is he the one? That, I guess they're confirming that he's the one that uh, is synthesizing these Titans. I thought it was a theory on Reddit, but I'm not sure. You know, maneuverability. Like, we've seen all the user titans have pretty much been very maneuverable um not to reference what she's talking about very maneuverable very dodgy they move well and i think with these beings like husk it seems like for the most part they're a little bit more static and uh less intelligent than the usual user titans the motherfucker exploded <laughs> these warhammer titans are fucking crazy so that is that the special pro I, I never actually knew that the car had any kind of like special properties but it appears that she can just jump out at will without, like, asking. Because, you know, Aaron had, like, a limit when he was first coming up. And I think the rest of them did, too, to some degree. But she can just keep on reforming, kind of. That's interesting. I'm glad that he gave her some kind of power to make her more relevant to this interesting this situation. I think that made him, like, too overpowerful. This makes sense to me. Like, he can literally synthesize Titans ad nauseum. I just don't understand why they make him so damn powerful, bro. I just don't get that. Like, he can synthesize other fucking Titans. I mean, because Annie always had an like, interesting dynamic. A copy. This was gonna be really funny in the anime. There's not many humorous scenes in this entire season, but uh, shout out to Isayama for inserting a little bit of humor. And Annie, I think, has always been one of the more colorful characters, even when she's so morose. Um, so it's cool that she gets to shine a little bit. Damn. Oh, yo, we've never seen Zeke cry. Holy shit. Ugh, man, I, we've never seen that. That man has never teared the fuck up. I think he gave a little bit of real emotion to the Han, the Han send-off, but he didn't, he, didn't tear, he didn't tear up. He didn't do that. Ugh. Dude, I hate it for... Them neutering Levi the way they have made sense at certain points um in the past because of just how powerful and broken Levi was um and you know Levi being fucked up by Zeke obviously added a lot more to this certain moment but man I would love to see 100% Levi one more time if they could like give him like fucking uh double eternal Mangekyo Sharingan like fucking Kakashi <laughs> like have like Aaron come back from the grave and like give him like double Sharingan <laughs> We get, we get, we get, um, we, we get perfect Susan nose with Levi. So she has Armin. If you feed Armin to Bart Holt, I wonder what happens. Will Bart Holt regain control uh, of the power of the Titans? Is he going to talk no juice of his way back into fucking control of his damn body? I, I, I don't know about that one. I feel like Burton will probably help him. Is he going to activate paths? Okay, so he's in paths. He's going to try to talk no juice to Amir, isn't he? Zeke! Who's also stuck in paths, as we knew that. Okay, that's huge. So in Mirror HU2, in spirit, the Titans created by what I'm guessing is a founding Titan ate him. Um, I'm not sure when Zeke got eaten, but interesting. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a very 
Very uh, interesting panel. Fucking Zeke. That means he's going to die. He's young to the same shit with Sasha and Hodge. So he killed Sasha and Hodge on their birthdays? That's interesting. I think, I, I, from what I gather, and I, I know I've seen it myself that it's supposed to have like four chapters or so, something like that. It's supposed to, it's supposed to end definitively on volume 34. Now, people's interpretation of that means it's going to be April or July or whatever. Um, I think either way we have about three, four, go count January. January chapter hasn't come out yet. We have about four or six left. Um, I would lean towards four uh, because it appears to me that Levi's going to die probably in that chapter. Um, to me, based on that birthday shit they said, based on what Levi did, Levi doing everything in his power to try to find Zeke. Zeke obviously being in past and probably this person that knows the past better than anybody except Aaron and Amir. Um, having control of the Beast Titan, which gives him obviously powers over a lot of other things. I believe, this is my theory, that Levi will save Zeke, try to retain Zeke somehow. I think he'll get him out of there somehow or another. Um, I think probably in the same process, Arm will be saved. Uh, Levi will die, but he will have completed the mission, I guess in some ad-lib type of sense. He will have gotten Zeke in a backwards, very backwards sense. Uh, I don't see him killing Zeke. I think Zeke is too important for him to die. And I just think that's not... I don't think he'll end... I don't think you see him end this with just another fucking moment for Zeke to fucking fight Levi. I don't, I don't think that's the MO here. Um, I think the discussion Armin will have will make Levi trust Armin's decision-making with Zeke. Um, and based on the whole founding Titan, eating, you know, yada, 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 it appears that However, they're going to beat the Final Titan probably comes in conquering paths, it appears. Um, they don't seem to have another way of achieving, uh, achieving the nape. And for what it for what it's worth, it appears also that if um, Armin is delivered to Burt Holt slash the Colossal Titan, uh, it's GG for Armin and probably GG for their entire forces. So we are pretty close to at least the battle part of this being ended. Like I can see the battle... The battles being in the next two chapters, and I, I'm just interested. In, I mean, I thought they would want about two chapters, and I said this, I think, my previous one, or maybe the previous, like the one before the last. I think myself, and this again, like two ones ago, so I probably thought it was gonna be like six or seven left. I thought he'd spend two getting like the battle finished, two kind of talking about the uh or doing whatever is the fall of the battle like if Aaron wins and maybe he turn coats on Amir or maybe Amir knows he's about to turn coat and you know something happens with that. And I, I thought the last two would go in ending uh establishing and ending the construction of the new world that is born to occur. I mean we know time moves in a cycle of situation. The last panel is a newborn baby. So New birth is probably the theme of the past or the last chapter, but that's where my head was at when I was thinking about how this could end, uh, structurally speaking. And if it's about four to six left, I'm gonna lean towards six, but let's say four. If it's four left, I could see still ending in two, spending one talking about the fallout, and then you just basically rush the last one. But I'm gonna lean towards six. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. It definitely was probably about 15 16 minutes without me even looking. But I feel like this one deserved a lot of rereading and kind of rethinking. Uh, I usually like to go and read it and look at these, but I'm trying to keep the length a little bit shorter. Um, but if y'all want longer ones, if y'all are okay with longer ones, just let me know. Um, let me know how you liked the quality. I got not a Blue Yeti, but I don't have a new mic yet. So I know that me, I probably have a fucking 240p um, rendition of a PlayStation 2 game. But we're making do what we got. Hope you enjoy. Uh, dedicate your hearts.